everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. My name is Cambria and this is going to be a drill my life. If you're new I hope you will consider subscribing. Just to be clear I am not a good drawer at all so this might be completely horrible. Excuse my disgusting nails. Um, but my name is Cambria and I go by Cammy just because it's easier for a lot of people. So yeah, I guess this story starts with my mom. She was previously married to another man before she met my dad. I honestly don't know anything about him other than he was in, like, the military and they lived in Japan and she hated it. <laughs> so yeah, she ended up meeting my dad. I really don't know much about the story at all, but they got together and then, you know, <laughs> got pregnant with me. So I was a very, very, very premature baby. I was two pounds, 2.8 ounces. I was a very small. I was supposed to be born in um, July. So I was supposed to be born July 4th, but I was born April 22nd. So quite a bit early. I obviously had a lot of problems being that small. So I was in the NICU for quite a while attached to, you know, all sorts of things to help me breathe and whatnot. I know it was hard on my family because I looked very sickly. I did not look like I was going to make it. Everybody said I wasn't going to make it, um, but obviously I did. I did stay at Ronald McDonald. That's what that M house is, or that M is a uh, Ronald McDonald house. Um, uh, we moved from Virginia to Florida about when I was like two. I don't really have much memory of that, obviously. So, yeah, um, I played baseball when I was little, um, and I also did dance. It was a weird combination, because I didn't do softball, I did, like, actual baseball with the boys, and I also did gymnastics during that time as well. I ended up doing gymnastics for 12 years of my life. I stopped, you know, doing baseball and dance at one point. I got to be a level 8 in gymnastics. It took up a lot of my time, a lot of my time. Um, during this whole, like, me growing up, my mom had heart issues. I really didn't know anything about it. Nobody really would tell me stuff. I know she would be in the hospital, and I know she had to take, like, medication and stuff. So nothing really to tell you about elementary school, nothing, you know, big. Um, I did go to a private middle school. It was Episcopal. It was definitely different. You had, like, chapel every Wednesday during school time. It was just very different for me because I wasn't very religious. In high school, I did go to a public school, so it was a big culture shock. It was, like, considered the ghetto school of where I lived. So it was definitely different. Um, I started dating a couple of people there. I did have my first love, and that's where I lost my virginity at 14 years old. Um, you know, don't do that. Don't think you're going to be in love forever, because it usually doesn't happen the first time around. Um, so that obviously, you know, didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I got into another relationship. It ended up not being the best situation. Um, I got, you know called names quite often. Um, I got put down a lot. It was very a controlling relationship. It was like, I don't know, it was just not, it was abusive emotionally and, you know, physically. And then um, April 20th comes around and this was a day that I will remember forever, obviously. Today my mom passed away. Um, I was in high school at this point, and she was sick for, like, a week beforehand, but she didn't want to go to the hospital, and I didn't really know what was wrong. She didn't really say anything. She just kind of stayed home. Um, she was sleeping in the bed next to mine, like a rollout bed, and that's where she ended up passing away. The people said it was of a heart attack, but again, she had heart issues. I don't really, I still don't know much about it. Nobody really talked about it after that. It was just really hard, very difficult. I was definitely a mama's girl, wasn't close to my dad. He, you know, he's living with us and all that. Um, but I just, I did everything with my mom. My mom took me everywhere. We, you know, we were just really close. It was a very difficult part of my life. Um, and then I ended up letting the guy that I was seeing just kind of take over my life, tell me what I could and couldn't do. It was just not healthy. I just didn't, you know, I was lost. I didn't know what to do. So I just let him do that. And it was not, you know, good for me, good for anyone. And I was dancing during this time. 
um, for a couple of years after as well. Now, this is where I meet my now husband. It was on Plenty of Fish, which is like a dating website. Um, I have quite a bit of messages. I don't know really why I chose to, you know, text him back, but we did. And we obviously, you know, fell in love. Um, we did date for a little bit before I kind of moved into him. He had an apartment. He was in the military and the Air Force, and I moved in with him. And he had a one bedroom. Eventually, I was like, I want a place of my own because that's where he was with his ex. And I was like, I want a place of my own. So we moved into our own two bedroom apartment. Um, yeah, and that is where I found out that I was pregnant after, you know, living there for a little while. I got pregnant and I called him and I was like, I'm pregnant. I was crying. I was freaking out. But he took it very well and was very supportive, unlike me, who was crying and scared to tell my family because I was younger than him. And I didn't think that they were going to you know, understand, you know, we weren't dating for that long and all that. We ended up moving in with my dad before I got, or before I had Parker. Um, he did end up falling off of the roof while I was pregnant and there was a lot of hospital trips for that. He's still not, you know, in the best condition. He broke his uh, feet. He was in a wheelchair for like two years, basically. Um, still uses a wheelchair. So yeah, we moved in with him to save money and just because we didn't really know what was going on with him, I had to help get him groceries and stuff like that. Um, so August 2nd came around, we went to a regular appointment where they told us, you know, hey, we're going to induce you because I did have high blood pressure issues. And that's, you know, the day we went into the hospital and I got induced. And on August 3rd, my beautiful baby boy was born, whose name is Parker Dean Ledman. He is the greatest thing in my life. Um, unfortunately, we had nobody there. My dad was actually in the hospital at this time getting um, surgery on his feet. So he didn't even get to see me. Um, my grandparents did come and my husband's family ended up coming down. And I forgot to say that we did get married while I was pregnant, like a month before we had Parker. We got married. Well, we got married in May and Parker was born in August. Um, we ended up getting our first home a year later just because we wanted our own space and my dad was doing a lot better and I was just, I just wanted my own space. You know, we started a family and I was like, okay, well, he's doing better. So we should, you know, get our own home and we did and we loved it. So unfortunately, the next month, Hurricane Michael came and we evacuated, but it, you know, took pretty much our entire town um, we had a lot of damage to our house, my dad's house, my son's nursery. That was, you know, we still hadn't packed up everything. It was completely ruined um, that, you know, the roof caved in. A lot of people were hurt during this. It was a very scary time. Um, we came back eventually. We had a lot of moisture in our home. You know, we lost a lot of things in our backyard. Our backyard was ruined. So many trees fell. It was just very hard. It was it was honestly devastating because I lived here my entire life. Um and we're still, you know, dealing with it. We're still putting a fence up. We still have to get floors redone in our house. So, yeah. And, I mean, we're just trying to continue on from there. It's, you know, now 2019. And my son just turned two. And I hope you guys subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, you know, join the family. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching.